Hey Stampin' Friends, welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's card is a waterfall card. This is an oldie but a goodie and I had a request to make it and so I thought we would do that at my WOW class in March and uh, need to do a little video tutorial just to help you guys along with how to create this one. This particular idea came from my team member Kay and I did copy off of her, so thank you Kay. But here is how it works. How cool is that? So let me show you how to make it. We're going to use the Hey Chick stamp set. This was available during celebration earlier this year, and so this is no longer out, but you can definitely use any stamp set that you would like. We're going to take a piece of real red cardstock, and this one I think is nine, nine inches by two and a quarter. And we're going to score this one at two two and three quarters, three and a half, and four and one quarter. And this is actually what's going to create the waterfall part. So let me scoot this out of the way. Now we're gonna take all our score lines and we're just gonna fold them all forward. And it does help to make them nice and crisp with your bone folder. It kind of helps your card go together a little bit better. And what we're going to do then is take adhesive and you can use sticky strip, tear and tape, fast fuse. Um, I like to use something other than snail adhesive just to make sure that your, your uh, cardstock sticks. But you're going to do a little strip of adhesive right underneath of each of those score lines so you'll end up having four. So I did go ahead and <clears throat> I did that. So there's our adhesive right there. So we're going to take on the inside where this looks a little like a candy cane. Okay, so this is rolled forward. This is going to be where you're going to stamp. And so we're gonna take some basic black, stamp our sentiment here. And then I also have a little stamp that says pull. And this came from a paper pumpkin somewhere along the way. It may have been February's. Um, I'm not 100% sure. So then I took a black marker and I'm just going to add little chick feet here like he's walking up my card. And I just did little V's with lines through them. Okay, so those are your little chicken feet. Very quick and simple. <clears throat> then I have my chickens stamped. I have three of the same size and I have my egg, he's little. And that's because I did change sizes a little bit from what Kay did. So let's go ahead. These are already stamped and I did also color them ahead of time. I did a little combination of some markers and some um, watercolor. Oh, are you kidding me? My adhesive is out. Watercolor pencils. Sorry about that. That seems to be happening to me more and more. All right, so we're going to mat these on a piece of early espresso cardstock. <clears throat> Okay, so there those guys are. Now we're gonna come back with this piece and we're just gonna start at the bottom, peel off, I used tear and tape on this one. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a coughing fit a little bit earlier and I still have a little bit of tickle in my throat. Okay, so we're gonna start with our egg and then we're just gonna layer our chickens on here. Oh, 
That's my favorite chicken. I love her. Crazy hair chicken. Okay, and then finally our hay chick is going to go on the top. All right, so we're going to set that one aside for a minute. I'm going to take my piece of early espresso and I'm going to attach my real red cardstock to that. And then we're going to use a one and one quarter circle punch. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a half circle here at the bottom. So you can see where I've lined it up there. It doesn't need to be big. You don't need the whole circle, just a little bit. And I have a piece of crumbs, crumb cake that I went ahead and ran through the hexagon embossing folder. How much do you love this thing? I mean, it's awesome and you can use either side. So I'm gonna attach that. Actually, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of fast fuse just to make sure that it sticks well. Okay, so that's gonna get attached onto here. I kind of like it because it looks a little bit like chicken wire and kind of works well with the stamp set. So now I'm gonna flip that over and I need to get rid of that piece right there. So I'm just gonna come back in with my punch, line it up and just punch that little piece out. And what that is, that's a little area for your finger to do the pull. Okay, so now I have a piece, a strip of um, early espresso. I thought I had my pieces. So I'm gonna do a little bit of fast fuse here on each edge. You do not want any fast fuse here in the middle or whatever adhesive you're using, but it definitely needs to be a strong, adhesive. Take two pieces of linen thread and I'm just going to wrap that around this piece and tack it in the back and put a little bit more fast fuse right on top of the thread just to make sure that it doesn't come off. And I'm going to put that right across my card. So this one is actually turns out because the waterfall is basically your your where you'll write your sentiment um, and your focal point I didn't make this one a full card so it's just a card front it does not open okay so now what we need to do is take where we've stamped and I didn't do my I didn't do my chicken feet on this one I'll do that later and slide this underneath and have it lined up right about where it needs to go <clears throat> Okay, so you don't want it too far down or your chickens don't have enough room to flip and you don't want it too far up because this piece, I'll show you here, this bread piece right under here needs to attach to this brown piece right here and that allows it to stay together so when you pull it, they actually have the waterfall look. So what I do is get it lined up to where I want it Open it up. I'm gonna do my tear and tape or my um, fast fuse. Um, it's kind of gunked up there. Um, what was I gonna say? Tear and tape will work. Sticky strip. Uh, Tombow multi-purpose will work. But you just want to make sure that that adhesive is no wider than your red strip, and then you just close it. Say a little prayer, see if it works. Okay, perfect. So I did take a little bit of the, um, linen thread and attach that with a glue dot. Okay, and you can leave it like that. Trim off, whoop, did the glue dot not come off? It did not come off. Try this again. You definitely need your glue dot to come off, that's for sure. Okay, attach that guy right there. And there you go. You can trim those little ends off, but there's your waterfall card. How cute is that? Now, I did on this chicken card, I added a little uh, urban embellishment to that. So you could add one there, you could just leave it with the twine, whichever works for you but there's your waterfall cards. 
How about that? Thanks for joining me, you guys. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week for Movie Monday.